Hi everybody, I'm Amy and I have recently been walnut picking as you can see here. I have separated the husks here from the shells and this is what's got the lovely walnut inside. So we're gonna keep, I'm going to keep those, hopefully eat some of them. And I've got the husks here that I'm going to turn into a dye bath so I can do some dyeing. Now I've uh, dyed with walnuts before and I used everything and this time I'm only going to be using the husks so it would be interesting to see uh, how they compare. I've got all the husks in here, maybe a bit of shell in there too. I just need to add some water. This is plain tap water. I'm just going to let it sit, let the, let the tannin sort of come out and probably Probably let it sit for about a week, maybe. That will sort of all mulch down and um, will be a lovely dye bath in maybe about a week's time. This has been sitting here for three days and you can see it's already sort of mulching down. Uh, you can see that you can't really see any green anymore. It's just, all and it's all turned this lovely brown. You can see the beautiful colour in there. Uh, I could use this for dyeing now, but I'm not ready to to dye any yarn yet, so it's going to sit here for another few days at least, try and extract as much of that tannin as possible. But every day I've just come in, sort of giving it a little mash, mash down, a little stir, and uh, yeah, look at that. That is going to be a beautiful brown the end of this. I started this in October 2020 and it is now July 2021 and yeah we have <laughs> a nice thick skin on top um, but from everything that I've read uh, this mold isn't actually a bad thing and some dyers actually think that it helps to enrich the colour. Look at, <laughs> oh gosh look at this doesn't smell particularly great but it doesn't smell rancid so I'm going to carry on using this uh, I just completely forgot about this I haven't had a chance to use it so yeah I'm going to carry on with what I had planned to do a week after I let this sit <laughs> in, this mark, in this I'm just going to turn the heat on bring this to the boil It'll take a long time because this is a big pot that's full I'm going to bring it to the boil and just let it simmer for a good hour at least, probably probably two hours or more, just to sort of get rid of anything nasty that could be in there. But I'm just sort of stirring this around, moving it about, and it doesn't seem too bad at all. And once this has been brought up to the boil, I'll let it cool completely, probably let it cool in this overnight, and then... In the morning, I will strain off all the all the bits that we've got in here, all the all the shells and the husks, and then we can finally die with this after sitting in this liquid for nine months. I can't believe I just I I just put this pot up on the shelf and forgot about it. <laughs> Pretty much what happened. This has completely cooled down now, so. Going to strain it out into another pot. I've got here a sieve, and I would rather be using some muslin, but I don't have any, so I'm using a tea towel that I've just folded over twice. So I'm just going to gradually add this sludge, it looks like, to here. There we go. And then just squeeze it through. I've got gloves on because I do not want this to stain my hands. Ugh. <laughs> that didn't look great. But, oh god, it's not staying on at all. Yeah, it should make a nice. Uh, Nice dye when I'm done. I'm just going to keep straining this through until it's all done. 
I finished straining out all the solid matter from here and we're left with this gorgeous deep rich brown that I cannot wait to dye with I will be dying with that very very soon and this is what is left of our walnuts that will be going straight in the bin it's time to dye with this beautiful dark rich walnut dye now I've got this 100 grams of super wash merino it's dry I haven't bothered pre-soaking it I'm just going to stick it in there and uh, just let everything warm up so just gonna let this soak in here once it and uh, Okay, just gently press it down and I'm going to let this come up to just below a boil and then let it simmer for probably about an hour but, oh, oh, oh. look at this lovely colour already yeah this is going to be absolutely gorgeous now because um, walnuts has so much tannin in it, which is what I dyes the dyes the fibre. I don't need um, any more than like soda ash or, or vinegar or anything like that to help bind the dye to the yarn. Uh, the, the tannin does that already. So yeah, I'm just gonna stop poking that about now and I'm just gonna cover it up and leave it for a good yeah, leave it for quite a while now. Right, the yarn has completely cooled down, so let's take a look, see what we've got here. Oh, wow. So it's a bit of a tangled mess. That's all right. And uh, the dye bath has been cleared. I wasn't expecting it to. I think it's probably got a bit lighter. squeeze out as much of this as I can because I will be keeping the excess dye or the, the leftover dye bath on. I've got a bit of a collection of uh, walnut dye in the freezer now so just add that, this to that. It's still gorgeous gorgeous colour in there. And now let's start washing. I'm expecting there to be runoff at the start simply because this yarn has been sitting in all that dye and it will lighten up a little bit but hopefully most of the dye is actually in the yarn. Now you see this is a massive tangle mess at the moment. There's no point in trying to untangle it now while it's wet because it, it just won't happen. You'll get into knots, you get frustrated. It's so much easier to untangle yarn like this when it's dry. Just going to keep rinsing this until hopefully the water runs clear. Yeah, see, it's water's lightening up already. It's not quite as quite as dark as it was. Add a little bit of washing up liquid just to help remove any of this any of the format dye. Yeah. Okay. The water's already lightening up and it's not uh, it's almost running clear already. I'm just gonna keep washing this through until the water runs completely clear. As you can see it hasn't taken long to go from that really dark colour to almost clear already. Keep doing this. And here is our finished walnut dyed yarn. Uh, it looks pretty solid all the way through. I haven't noticed any significantly paler or darker patches. Um, and it's just this beautiful, rich, deep brown colour. Right, now I did throw in a little uh, cotton swatch. This is 100% cotton. Uh, just to see how the uh, walnut dyes the cotton in comparison to the yarn. And you can see the difference. They were both in for the same amount of time. 
uh, at the same time and uh, all the colour just washed out of this. It's uh, it's a nice pale uh, brown colour, nice beigey colour, but it's not the deep. In, in comparison to that, it's just, it's almost nothing. So I just wanted to see how the cotton would die without a mordant. And uh, here's my answer. You know, it's a, a nice colour, but it's a lot of effort to not get the rich colour that you do on the animal fibre. And in comparison to the other walnut dyes that I've done, this one uh, is very similar. This one was dyed with a whole pot of uh, unripe walnuts with just everything that was in there. Uh, I hadn't left it for quite quite as long. I didn't leave it in the water for nine months. Uh, I can't remember how long I left it for. Not too long. I'll link the video. And this one was dyed with six walnuts. So you can see there there is a difference. Put them together, you can see sort of darkest to lightest. And they're all beautiful, gorgeous colours in their own right. And you could quite easily do a fade from the lightest to the darkest. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please do click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday and it's normally published between about 6 and 8 p.m. UK time. And in every video, I like to do something different, whether it's using different dyes or different techniques or different yarn bases, or uh, some weeks I might dye fabric or do some natural dyeing. Uh, there, there will always be something different. Thank you so much for watching.